Tanner, congratulations. Nice guitar you have there. Can't wait to start uh, hearing some good stories on this as you get to use it more and more. But I just want to take a minute just to go over something here with you, if we could, in this YouTube video, just because I think you'll find this worthwhile over time. So that said, you remember when I was there in Jacksonville and you had the ukulele and uh, Grandpa was trying by ear to figure out if he had those four strings right? Um, with a guitar, you don't have to do anything like that. If you have an Android or an iPhone device, there's apps out there that you can just put right up to your guitar and it'll sit there and tell you whether the guitar is in tune or not. Now, you notice my hand kind of sweeping back and forth here. You're going to see that same action here, sweeping back and forth with this little device that I have here. So I'm just going to tilt this down just a little bit because this is real important. You'll find uh, this, is, this is the mechanism that uh, it's comparable to those apps for what you're trying to, to accomplish. So I've got my guitar here. And again, what's in tune? Nothing like it. Want to keep playing it for hours because it's in tune. So here's the thing. When you start playing a, a note on a guitar that's connected or next to an app, there's a way that the, the needle or the visual application tells you that everything's right. In this case, with this guitar tuner, you're going to see two red notes between a green note that flashes on these little buttons, these LED buttons. Here's my sixth string, the E. Notice how there's the green. You see the two reds. It's telling you that, hey, this thing's pretty close to being, it's right on the money. That's E, sixth string. Fifth string is A. See that light coming on there? It tells us that, that we're right in the center of a good tuning. Otherwise, there, there would be three lights. Here's the D, the fourth string. Again, you see that it's right on the money. If it wasn't, we wouldn't see three lights. Here's the G, third string. Same thing. It's right on the money. B, the second string. Right on the money. And the first string, E. Okay? So, that said, an application will give you the exact same thing. If you have interest, however, in this little guitar tuner, Grandpa's really not going to use this much anymore. So um, I just wanted to kind of uh, put that forward that uh, I, I don't need this myself, uh, but I wanted to show you for this, this, this exercise here. So that said, there's, that's the tuning, uh, and that's the piece that you're going to see with apps and whatnot for keeping this thing in tune, your guitar, so that you want to keep playing it because it sounds just right. You know, that's great stuff. So the other thing that I want just to mention here is the idea of um, what happens to your fingers over time when you start playing a guitar. Well, what's supposed to happen, especially because if you think about these strings, I mean, let's face it, this is wire. These, this string here is wire. Now we start getting into copper where the strings are, are, are thicker. But these two strings right here by themselves, the normal finger as it is without playing is just going to hurt from first playing these strings or sliding along the strings. You have to develop what's called calluses to really be able to sit there and play guitar for you know anywhere close to an hour over time. It's just pretty hard otherwise. So what I want to show you is just the difference between uh, one finger and the next. So this is my non-playing finger on my other hand that doesn't touch a string. Notice there's nothing there. Here's my my finger when, when it has a callus on it. As you can see, it's shiny. You can actually see the indent of where that string was just playing, and that's because I built up some skin resistance, just a little bit, That uh, and, and that's so helpful when it comes to playing guitar. Uh, a, a, a player of a guitar, that does that um, day in and day out or every couple of days is going to end up having calluses that allows them to keep playing. So that's just one of those things you'll, uh, you'll come to appreciate as you start playing guitar more and more. So that said, just got one last thing I want to show you real quick and we'll wrap this up here. I promise I do this under five minutes. So real quick, two strings, two fingers. talk about that maybe another time, huh? 
but those two fingers are pretty important right where they were. That's all I want to say about that. But again, congratulations. I'm so excited for you. And uh, I can't wait to hear about more of how, how you things are working out with your guitar. Okay. So love to you. Talk with you soon. Take care.